assalamu alaikum in this lecture we are going to talk about the ferranti effect we have derived an equation which is actually this one so if i will term it as 1 so this equation is the one that i will be using to explain the an anti effect so I will write it down here again so Vs is equal to Vr cos beta L plus J Zc Ir sine beta L so now if the transmission line has no load attached to that so by no load means we don't have any the CVK and current. So if the transmission line line receiving end is open means there is no load attached to the receiving end of the transmission lines. So if there is no load attached that IR will be equal to 0. So if IR is equal to 0, the equation will be Vs is equal to Vr cos beta L. And if I will take this Vr to the other side of equality, Vr will be equal to Vs over cos beta L. So the receiving end voltage is actually the ratio of the sending end voltage and a cosine of beta L. So as this value cos beta L, its maximum value is actually equal to 1 right so if it is any other value than 1 then the receiving end voltage will be greater than the sending end voltage which we, which is known as Ferranti effect and this normally occurs when there is a lightly loaded transmission line or the receiving end of the transmission line is actually open so now if I have to explain this uh, expression in which the receiving end voltage is greater than the sending end voltage, uh, I have to draw a equivalent circuit of the transmission line. So I will be taking the pi model in which we have a capacitor, inductor and a resistor. Then there is another capacitor. So we have two capacitors. So they are divided into two equal parts and we have a series impedance and resistance the voltage at the receiving end is vr the current is ir we have a sending end voltage vs and sending end current is so this is is divided into this current ic2 and then there is one current ic1 that is passing through the series impedance and this current is actually passing through the the capacitance or the shunt branch that is after the series impedance so at no load the current is only due to the line capacitive current so at no load the current is only due to the line capacitive current This current is also known as the charging current. So at no load, uh, the current is only due to the line capacitive current and the IR which is equal to zero because we have no load attached at the receiving end. So if there is no load attached, the IR will be equal to zero. So now if I have to explain it uh, using the phasor diagram, we know that we have a reference voltage VR and then we have to define the current that is passing through the inductor and resistor. So this current is IC1. So now this is the same current that is passing through the capacitor and in the capacitor the current is actually leading the voltage by 90 degree. So that's why I have taken this current in the upper direction. So now if I have to draw the voltage across the inductance and voltage across the resistor the voltage across the resistor will be IC1R and the voltage across the inductor is IC1XL. 
so these are the two voltages now if i have to find the source voltage this source voltage is actually just the summation of the receiving end voltage and the voltage across the series impedance so this is just the summation of all the vectors of the voltages so this is your source voltage and you can see from the phasor diagram the sending end voltage is actually less than the receiving end voltage and this is known as serenity effect the overhead lines the capacitive effect or the charging current is less but in the cables due to the, the large capacitance the front effect is more pronounced 